I want to talk about the general appearance of the Temple Mount as it looks today. And you can see some things here that we'll be coming back to, but this gives you the, the layout. The Temple Mount as a whole is about 37 acres, so it's about four times the size of Temple Square. Um, and I'll give you something about the history of it and so on as, as, we, uh, as we go on. But the most obvious thing about it is the Dome of the Rock, that octagonal building there with the Golden Dome. Uh, in the foreground, though, there's another really important building that I'll be talking about, and that is the one with the smaller gray dome. Uh, that is the Al-Aqsa Mosque, which is almost as old as the Dome of the Rock and um, also has its own importance. Uh, to the left, you can see where the people are gathered out in the square. That is the area of the, the Western Wall, or what used to be more commonly called the Wailing Wall, the Hayd al-Mabka. It's the last part of the, um, of the retaining wall. It's the part that you can get up to, the retaining wall that Herod built for the temple platform. Uh, down here in the foreground, there's another really interesting area. This is now called the Jerusalem Archaeological Park. I want you to have the, the, set, the sense of the overall setting, where things are. Uh, on the tours that we take, we go there. We walk through this area here with the trees and so on and out into this area here, which is archaeological ruins. Actually, it's, there are ruins all along the area. <coughs> Excuse me, there used to be a, an early Arab palace there, the Umayyad palace of the, of the governor uh, during the Umayyad dynasty, when the Arabs were governed from Damascus the entire empire was. Uh, but this is extremely interesting here because these steps, which I'll be mentioning again at the end, these steps go back to the time of Christ. Um, and, and people would probably enter the temple area from the south, this way. They would come up that way and they would go through gates that are now that now closed in. You can see just there are five of them that are visible. You can't really see them there, but we will in a minute. Or no, actually we won't. We don't have photographs of the Holder Gates. But if you go with me, you'll see them. <laughs> you'll see them up close, okay? So maybe I'm a marketing guy too. You don't get to see them unless you pay to go. Um, all right. Now this is the way that people typically go up. You go through security here and you go up through this ramp and then you enter into the Temple Mount here and come walking past the, uh, the Al-Aqsa Mosque and then through that little gate up onto the area with the uh, Dome of the Rock. 